I have officially switched to Golan. Now, many of you might not know this, but I actually want to work at Monzo as a backend engineer a few years from now. So I'm actually going to show you guys the job role specification that Monzo has released on their website. Okay, so if we look at the Monzo website right now, let's view the openings. Go to engineering. So they have a backend engineering role and they have a senior back engineering role. I'm going to be realistic. I am not a senior senior and back end engineer, so I'm going to go to back end engineer. So the tech stack they're looking for is to write Golang code. So they use Golang to be able to write the application code, which I said obviously they're going to be using as Golang allows you to be able to write concurrent code that can handle millions, if not billions, of users if used correctly. Cassandra for persistent data storage. So their database is is in Cassandra. They use Kafka for asynchronous message queues. This is all like system stuff. So if you don't know what that is, it's fine. Envoy proxy for RPC. RPC is a remote procedure call. It is a type of API, which um, I'm still trying to learn myself as it uses something known as proto, proto buffers. Um, still a bit new to that. I'm gonna learn it eventually. They have Kubernetes and Docker to schedule and run their services. They use AWS for their infrastructure and React for their web dashboards. Now, obviously, I've just said a lot. And I'm sure most of you that want to learn Go or Golang are wondering, where is he learning all of this? Where is he getting all the resources from? How is he learning Golang? Now, I'm going to share all the resources and everything I use to be able to learn Golang with you guys. Now, the reason why I'm able to learn Golang so quick is because I actually have a fundamentals of programming and I've learned a language very similar known as Java by the goods themselves, Lisa Davis and David Barnes. Those are the excellent teachers that taught me how to be able to program using Java and now I'm able to transfer those skills from Java to Golang. And then for the websites I've been using so far to learn Golang, this is the website that has been teaching me the most about Golang. It is boot.dev. Now, if you want to become a backend engineer, boot.dev is one of the best websites to be able to learn how to become a backend engineer. And it has helped me a lot. Okay, so that's enough talk. Let's actually look at some code. So if you guys don't know, I also stream on Twitch. My Twitch link will be on the bio where I sometimes stream me learning Golang. What I have, what I know so far. So the same concept of programming applies. We still have structs. So in in, in in TypeScript, we have something similar as well. We can create types, which allow us to be able to um, define the structure of an object. So we have structs as well in Golang. We also have interfaces. So I can do type, uh, let's do actions, and I can say it's an interface. And uh, I spelled interface wrong. <laughs> Oh, uh, interface, okay. So for interfaces, we can define uh, abstract methods. What is an abstract method? An abstract method is a, is a method or a function that has a signature but doesn't have a body. So I can just come here and say, um, let's give an example, let's say get users that um, takes in a, a num, um, a name as a, sorry, an ID as a string and returns a string so that is a that is an abstract function so as you can clearly see it, it has the get users um the get users from um signature but it doesn't have a body i haven't defined what the function is supposed to do which is valid um which is a valid abstract function we also have um the main function so that's like the entry point of your application. Golang modules are really good. I love the Golang module system. And yeah, those are the resources I'm using to be able to learn Golang to become a backend engineer at Monzo. Wish me luck and I hope you guys have a great day. Have fun and see you guys next time.